Yeah, hello, hi guys. Uh, so today we're looking at uh, fluid mechanics N5. So we'll start with module one, which is the properties of hydraulic fluids. So um, on the properties of hydraulic fluids, we'll be looking at uh, what is fluid. So um, the definition of a fluid, uh, so a fluid can be uh, defined as a substance or any substance, um, whether it's a liquid, um which it which finds its own level at at at, at or at in a container yeah so any any substance which can find um its level in a container uh or a gas which can also find uh or can field what you call a volume of a container so a fluid uh it's uh, any substance that can uh fill uh let's say you are having a container like this here so uh the container if you can fill any substance here and this substance can find its own level here at the container we call it a, a fluid uh even if um even if it's a gas or a liquid so uh it, this uh, it's called what you call uh, fluid so uh, not that uh, fluid is, is only liquid but then a uh, fluid is also including what uh, gas or any substance of what um of uh, that is in a form of a fluid uh, of a liquid or gas is called a uh, fluid and then um we will uh, uh in a fluid we'll be uh, looking at what you call a uh, closed and uh, open system so we have uh two types of um system here which is a closed system and an open system so these uh it's uh, defined itself we know that um in an op uh, in a closed system here let's say we are having a fluid inside a liquid and then uh sorry fluid inside um inside a container like this and then let's say you are having we are applying a certain force here to say this is a plunger uh, and then inside here it's a fluid and then when you applied uh, here the force this it's what uh, this uh, for um, this container it's uh, containing all the fluid inside we call this one a closed system or we can say the, um, a, a closed system. Um, it's a uh, so okay by 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 the definition of a test book, they say that this system is um, uh, this system in which the fluid is completely uh, contained within the system. It's only um, an and uh, only a certain uh, mass of fluid is used to do work. So this one, uh, only a certain mass of fluid it's used. They say the the the, the fluid that is inside here, you, you you may know the mass of this one. Let's say maybe the mass uh, of this one it's uh, maybe ten kg. So this is uh this is a closed system because it's contained by what by the contain. So like um an example of a closed system uh you can uh, say um what you call um an hydraulic uh brakes brake system of of a car so the brake system of a car you know on a brake system of a car you have the master cylinder and uh where you put your 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 what you call it, uh your brake fluid and then you close that master cylinder and then the amount of uh, this fluid inside the system doesn't change it remain constantly uh, so that when you apply brick a certain amount of this uh, fluid it's applied on 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 the wheel to 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 cause uh, friction so that this uh, so that the, um, the the car can stop so that is what you call a closed system no? and then we also have an open system an open system it's where the fluid uh, can flow let's say you're having um, a pipe pipeline so where the fluid uh, it's what it's flowing 
name so this is what you call this is a closed system so a closed system uh, in which uh, there is uh, a continuous flow of fluid and a certain volumic rate of uh, flu uh, of flow of fluid is used to do, uh, to do work so here there is what there is a continuous flow of the fluid and you have what you call a volumetric rate a volumetric rate we will discuss a volumetric rate but then a volumetric rate is where we say it area multiplied by velocity so the area uh, of the pi uh, of the pipe multiplied by the velocity of uh, of the fluid inside to get what the volumetric flow weighs um, it's, uh, it's what you call it uh, cubic meters per second no this is the volumetric flow okay so by now we, we know that um, when we're dealing with uh, when we're dealing with a fluid or the properties of a hydraulic fluid we have two systems a closed system and an open system so we have discussed the closed system and open system then now we need to discuss the properties of an hydraulic fluid so these are the properties of the hydraulic fluid so we have density we have compressibility viscosity kinematic viscosity and um surface tension now so let's discuss um what you call let's discuss um, uh, density first so density um let's say density it's um so density is given by the formula of p it's equals to mass over velocity so we can then see it, uh, uh density is uh is uh the mass per unit volume Nam density is mass per uh, unit uh volume Nam so which at that our mass is measured in kg uh, and our volume is measured in uh, cubic meters so the unit of uh, of density is going to be uh, kilograms per uh, cubic meters so this is what you call this is our density so under density we also have to know that uh, we have uh, standard units like a uh, density of uh, of water density of pure water or fresh water to say fresh water or pure water we say the density of this water is always 1000 uh, kg per cubic meters and then uh, we also know that the density of mercury uh, the density of mercury is also standard uh, which is at as 13600 uh, kg per cubic meters and then um, again uh, we have to know uh, the volume so we know that the uh, volume is measured uh, it's either measured in cubic meters or it can be given by liters the one that we're going to use we know that volume is can also be in milliliters um, megaliters and all those things but then we uh, we have this too then and then when you convert the volume into kilograms or into a mass so we know that one liter of volume is equals to one kg uh, of that of a mass let's say maybe it's water so that means one liter of water is equals to one kg of water by mass ne? but then uh when you say the, uh, one uh, cubic meters uh of 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 water they say uh, it will this one will give us 1000 uh, kg of water no this is uh, uh, this is um this is volume this is mass so one li uh, one cubic meters of uh, of uh of what you call of water is cost 1000 kg so this is your mass and then again we have um also we have uh, this uh, thing called a uh, specific gravity uh, so a specific gravity is also uh is the ratio of uh, of two 
density of a substance now the specific gravity this specific gravity is also called oh the symbol is sg specific gravity is also called a relative values uh, uh, relative density and the relative densities are uh, d yeah. so this uh, relative density it's uh, this is the ratio between uh, the weight of a substance and the weight of the equal volume of a substance so oh sorry of of water so that means the specific gravity is what is the weight of a substance over the weight of that of of water now or it can also be calculated as the density of the substance over the density of water now so the relative uh, gravity or the specific uh, or the sorry it's the specific gravity or the relative uh, density say rt yeah this relative density is uh, the ratio of uh, of the weight of a substance to the weight of the um to the weight of uh, sorry to the weight of an equal volume of water at four degrees Celsius. So that means that this is the water at its pure state, which is going to be uh, the right the this uh, this uh, this what you call this density is going to be one thousand kilograms per cubic meters. Now, and then uh, this is um. So, okay, uh, let, let, let's do an example uh, under density. So then uh, we can go to compressibility on the following video. We'll do uh, almost uh, four videos. So uh, the compressibility and viscosity will be one video, and this one also be another video. So I, I wrote uh, an, an example here. So, uh, okay this do it like this yeah so here we are having um we're having um a tank they say a tank uh of two meter long uh, by one a meter wide and uh, 1.5 meter deep it's filled with fresh water that means that this water is a pure water. No? So if it's filled with pure water, that we, we then say the density of this pure water is equal to 1,000 uh, kilogram per cubic uh, cubic uh, sorry cubic meters, right? And then uh, this is what this is the tank. So a tank uh, is going is a rectangular tank. No? So if it's a rectangular tank, therefore it's something like this. It's given in this shape. It's a tank of a rectangle. So they say this tank is at is two meter long. That means here we have two meters, and it's one meter wide. This is one meter wide, and it's one point five uh, meter uh, deep. That means it's one point five meter deep. And when you calculate the volume of a rectangular prism, we know that it's length multiplied by breadth multiplied by height. So your length is your uh, long, uh, is the long. Uh, your your breadth is what is the wide. Your deep is what is your height. Then you can get what the volume of this tank. So it's going to be two multiplied by. Uh, 1 multiplied by 1.5 and then we get our answer as well 2 times 1.5 we get uh, our volume as 3 cubic meters no? so this is the volume of it this is the volume of a tank and then and now when it uh, comes to question number 1 let's say determine the mass of the sea uh, salt that uh, must be added to to the water to produce the sea uh, uh, to, to produce sea water 
with a specific uh sorry sea salt with a specific gravity of 1.0 or uh, uh two four yeah? so that means now if you're going to add the sea uh, sea salt inside this uh inside this uh, tank now your fresh water will change into sea water no yeah? So what you need to calculate here is to calculate the, the mass of the sea water. Now, so to calculate the mass of the sea water now, we know that the only formula that gives us mass is the formula for um for what you call for 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 density. So density is always equal to mass over volume, right? So the mass now would be equals to density multiplied by volume so the volume of the sea water will still be the same as what the volume of the tank and then now we only need to calculate what the density of the sea water so that we can get what the mass right so to get the density of the sea water we're going to use our formula for specific gravity the specific gravity we said is the um, density of the substance. In our case, now our substance is the sea salt over the, dens uh, the density of what? The density of water. And then we say the density of water is 1000. Then if you multiply, now this means the density of the sea salt will be equal to uh, the, your specific gravity, which is 1.02. Uh, 4 multiplied by 1000, which is the uh, density of what? Uh, density of water. And then this will be giving you what? Uh, 1024. Now, this is the density of, of kg per cubic meter. Now, so this is what? This is your density of this is all then you put this one to get what to get your mass then your mass will be what will be 1024 times the volume which is what which is three and then uh, we will get what we'll get the 3072 kg so this is what this is the mass that you're going to have inside the uh inside the, the tank and then uh they say also determine the specific weight right so to determine the specific weight uh in this case uh we didn't discuss the specific weight right but the, the specific weight uh is also <clears throat> so the specific weight uh in our case specific weight always your specific weight let's say is sw as will give you as what as uh the density multiplied by gravity this is a specific weight and we know that uh weight is equal to what mass multiplied by gravity so that means the mass straight oh so the straight weight is mass multiplied by gravity but the specific weight is the density multiplied by gravity so the density of this uh sea salt was 1000 to uh 1024 multiplied by our gravity which is 9.81 so you will get what you will get your specific uh weight which is going to be uh 1.94 times uh 9.1 okay so which is going to be uh, one thousand sorry ten thousand and forty five point four four kg so its weight is, should be in newton right so the specific weight will always be in newton per what per uh, cubic meters and then now and then now uh, uh, for total weight of the um, so weight is the mass multiplied by gravity our mass is zero is thirty thousand and seventy two times 
9.81 and then we get what we get our mass so sorry our weight this uh, the second question say the total uh, weight of what of the water so we get what the total weight by this one so uh stay tuned to the uh, next one we will be able we'll discuss again we'll continue from here the compressibility and viscosity